Hi guys, so I am going to unbox the Segway ES2. Um, it's taken about two months coming from China, from Gearbest, who I wouldn't suggest buying from. Their customer service has been quite terrible. There's been a multitude of different tracking numbers when I kept on asking them where the package was over the two months. Uh, originally it was supposed to be delivered and shipped within three weeks um, but like I said it's now taken two months so um, I found their customer service quite terrible but look the package has now arrived. I've read some really bad reviews about this scooter since buying it but I've also read some really good reviews so I'm kind of mixed. Uh, thankfully I purchased the Ninebot ES2 on credit cards. So if there is a problem, I'm fairly sure that I can get my money back or some sort of um, refund without without there being too much of a problem. So this is the box that it came in. Sorry about the mess behind, um, but we will unbox it and see what all the fuss is about, because I'm quite excited. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Wow. Yeah. I'd be um, interested to hear if you guys out there have got scooters, what your thoughts are if you've got this scooter. Um, because what I'm going to do is not only the unboxing, but in a week's time, um, I'm going to do another video on how it is to live with the scooter which is like the most important thing because it's all very well you spending 400 pounds on something but you want it to be reliable you want it to be uh, purchased for the right reasons you don't want it to break down um, so like I said I've heard some mixed reviews so I guess we'll see from what I hear it's about three hours to charge um, again I'll go I'll go through everything and we'll see what it looks like. So let's just take it out of the out of the pannets. Obviously it was the uh, the other end of the box. Should take it out of so okay. There we go. So, this is the box that's come in. Um, it doesn't say ES2 anywhere, which is, which is kind of worrying, but um, I saw on another video that this is definitely the, the ES2 box. So, Let's hope that they haven't actually sent me the ES1 and it's been repackaged. Um, let's just put that down. Yeah, that's, stand there. that's better. So if we just cut open all of the packaging and we'll see what it's like to uh, own my, my first electric scooter, which I'm super excited about. There we go. Okay. Right, sorry about the terrible camera angle, but I'm gonna take out everything as I see it. So you get a real thing. So this is just, this is the first thing. Pick up the camera. So this is the first thing that you can see, this long piece of cardboard. This is nothing, it's just for decorative purposes. And there's the scooter, which looks rather cool. Um, but here is just the instructions and probably the warranty, which I'm gonna need. this back there we go take this 
now. And in this box here, this has got, I think this is uh, most likely the charger for the device. Oh no, this is the handlebars, which look really cool. There we go, these are the screws for uh, down here, but this, uh, this looks actually really, really cool. So put that down and in the same packaging here I'm back here the charging wire which is great so the, the reason that I went for the ES2 as opposed to any of the others um, is because of many reasons one decent top speed of about 15 miles an hour good range of about 15 miles Ultimately, it charges in about three hours as opposed to some of its competitors, which take five, six, seven hours. And also, it's quite light, and I wanted something lightweight so that I could uh, carry it on transport. So, there is the charging box. And here is the charging wire, which is great except for one thing. And the one thing is that I live in the UK and that will not work in a UK plug. So I'm going to have to get an adapter. It also comes with a tool um, to tighten the screws on the handlebars. So that's great. And then the final thing to take out of the box will be the scooter. I must say it's uh, quite well packaged, um, it looks really good, it weighs a lot, um, but there is my scooter, um, ah look what I found, there is a UK plug in the box so that's actually really that's actually really good. I didn't realize there was an adapter, so that's actually, uh, that's really, really good. I wasn't expecting that, so it's great. And I think everything else in the box is just packaging. So, yeah, that's it. So we put the box out. This is the scooter, which looks really good. It's not clicking into place so let's just see if I can do that that looks like it's things in place but there should be an audible click there I don't know whether you heard that there was an audible click so it's now in place it looks it looks pretty pretty cool um, certainly doesn't look second hand so uh, even though the box was uh, slightly warm, it looks pretty good. It's also got a kickstand. So if I just take that round here. Um, yeah, the kickstand looks pretty heavy duty. Um, this all looks kind of really cool. Obviously, I'm going to have to put it together um, or just attach the four screws and charge it. But I saw another unboxing video and I think this it comes with already charge or some charge in it. So if we just take off this cap, which uh, looks okay. And then here's the wire, which I hope you can see. That looks really cool. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna get those four screws, of which I've gotta figure out where I put them. And we can start the assembly, guys. Ah, here we go. Here are the four screws. They're attached to the handlebars. 
And I'll show you as I rip them off. As I rip them off carefully. Here we go. Okay. So like I said, um, took about two months from ordering. Um, I paid a little over, I think it was 430 um, pounds sterling. A um, little bit more than I wanted to spend. Another reason I went for the Segway is because it's a trusted brand. Um, I wasn't aware that Ninebot, that Segway was sold to a company, a Chinese company called Ninebot. Um, hopefully that shouldn't have any problems um, with the uh, with the reliability of the scooter. So in this little box here, oh, let's just adjust the camera. This is what was in the um, cellophane bag. So it looks like just standard tiny screws and if you can see that washers. So it's fine, I can attach those. Oh, those are spare. So it comes with um, the washers already on the screws. There, and um, two washers spare. So that's quite cool. Oh, and a spare screw. Okay, so let's just put the camera back over there. Okay, I'll try and do this in the in the camera's way so that you guys get to see it as well because it wouldn't be much of a review if you can't see what I'm doing. So the first thing first, Make sure the lead is attached. Why is it folded? Let's just unfold that. Sorry, this video isn't as slick as others on the internet. Um, this is kind of my first attempt at putting a video on YouTube, but I've got to say, um, a lot of people are buying these scooters nowadays as a mode of getting around and I just thought it might be helpful as a full kind of English put together and then as the weeks go on how I'm finding it the reliability has anything gone wrong um, am I still obtaining the top speed what's the what's the mileage between charging everything so that's I think going to be really handy and it was it was the type of thing that I was looking for but I couldn't find on YouTube I found the unboxing and I found living with but there wasn't a a constant uh, video stream which is something that I would have found um, interesting um, having a little bit of a tr an issue putting the wires together which is annoying but I'm sure it's just a teething problem no it's really not it's quite difficult Okay, I mean the sensors in here are lined up, so really and truthfully it shouldn't be too much for an issue, is it just me being stupid? Probably me being stupid. Ah, there we go. There we go. All connected. Let's feed the wires back in on both sides and we just plug this in which is now in and I've accidentally turned it on but we don't want to do that just yet okay so I'll just lean that down there and I'll show you so handlebars are on this is where the screws go in from this side so let's just put those in okay Obviously, um, make sure that the handlebars are the right way round. But there we go. I'd also um, like to point out that I live in the UK, as you probably would have heard earlier. So these things are illegal. Uh, they're not 
um, we've got kind of the, one of the worst laws. Um, in Europe, they're absolutely fine. In fact, I hear that Singapore, they're starting to clamp down on these things. And I used to live in Singapore. It's quite sad. Uh, but in, in England, um, these are kind of... Uh, not great. They were electric, uh, electric um, m m motor vehicles, I think they come under. So they're not legal for the roads. They're not legal for the pavements. You're really, and truthfully, only supposed to ride them in public areas. Um, so totally, pri uh, public areas, sorry, private areas. So totally private driveways or fields or things like that. I'm actually, I actually bought the scooter um, because to go down to the shops and make it quite easy. I've also heard from other scooter owners and riders that the police are okay with these things. Even though they are illegal, the police are you're quite relaxed. Um, as long as you're not riding it like a lunatic, as long as you're not riding it on a public road. So I've put the first two screws in. I'm now gonna light down and put the second two screws in on the other side. There we go. Oh. Um, so yeah, I'll just, and again, because I'm doing a review of this, um, I'll tell you, you know, if I, if I do get stopped, um, the grief, uh, and, and hopefully the, the scooter won't be taken off me because I don't really want to spend 400 pounds for nothing. Um, I hope it's like what people say that the laws are quite relaxed, but I guess we'll see. Um, but just to let you know, I've bought this scooter knowing full well that it's against the law um, to use it on a public highway or, or on a pavement, which is where I intend to use it. So I guess we'll see. Uh, my original plan was if the police see me riding it, I could kind of pretend to ride it as a scooter, um, you know, and put my foot down and pretend to to like pedal, so to speak, um, just in case they see, but I guess we'll, we'll see if that is, um, whether that's believable if I do get stopped. Right, so the it's now assembled, basically. Um, it took all of, what, four minutes, five minutes? Um, so let's stand it up and I'll show you a better view of it. So this is the scooter. We go. Again, I'm sorry about the filming, but um, just bear with me. So here's the screen. If you press it once, screen comes on and this starts glowing. As I'm sure you can see there. It's got like a strobe effect, which looks really cool in fluorescent green. I have to download the app um, and change everything. Um, this is the brake pedal. And when you press the, oh, when you press the brake pedal, as I'm doing there, this brake light comes on, which looks really cool, definitely. No issues. This is the power. Um, it's showing that it's got approximately, what, 70, 80% charge. I'm going to charge it anyway, obviously. I'm going to leave it for a couple of hours. Um, and um, I'll come back to you after my first ride. Thanks for, uh, thanks for listening and uh, wait for volume two. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.